we are having this convention on 8th december basically is because the entire atmosphere of violence against women has increased tremendously mm. women are been, being denied their basic citizenship rights you find moral policing going on honor killings are increasing there there are killings in the name of religion and caste inter caste or inter religious marriages are being targeted and uh, the entire laws which are giving protection to women are also being sought to be changed the 498a and the rape laws marital rape is not yet included in the uh, laws against violence against women and because of that we are finding that an all round agitation and all round resistance has to be developed and that is why we are organizing this convention there will be junaid's mother there will be akhlaq's daughter then there are certain couples who have been targeted uh, who have had inter religious marriages there are victims who have been denied grains because of linkage to aadhar and we have found that there have been starvation deaths in jharkhand there will be people from their family people who have been denied manrega wages there will be young girls who have been targeted who have been trolled who have been stalked from the banaras hindu university or the jawalal nehru university or the martyr's daughter uh, Gur, uh, gurmeher so we are having a large number of people participating uh, as speakers and we are having women also coming from all over the country to in this convention from this uh, convention we are going to give a call to build an all india movement all women's organizations progressive democratic and secular organizations and people come together because the title is save india convention as india stands today a secular democratic country it has to exist there are values enshrined in our constitution which are being targeted and we cannot allow this uh, uh, entire uh, onslaught which is going on on our citizenship rights if you look at the ncrb data the national crime records bureau data then you will find that in the last few years and particularly in the last one year it has been said that crimes of violence have increased and in particular crimes of violence against women so we are worried about this 8 december falls within the fortnight against violence on women but we don't want this convention to remain a mere formality not just a gathering of people but we want to give a call particularly we want to give a call to young people those who are there in colleges and schools and universities because we find what is happening there uh, is also a very stark illustration of this kind of violence for instance what happened to that young lad najib we don't yet know what happens to to his family his mother his sister we all remember jawaharlal nehru university as probably first among universities which set up a cell uh against uh, the sexual harassment of women on campus we all learned from that gs cash document now what is happening is that cases of harassment are increasing on the campus but uh, efforts are being made by the authorities to uh, uh, water down uh, gs cash water down these harassment cells look at what happened in bhu the banaras hindu university girls were harassed they wanted justice and instead of having justice they are beaten up by the police look at the uh, well the most inappropriately named anti romeo squads which are beating up young people if a boy and a girl happen to sit together the manrega works are all government works government uh, pub public works actually but with migrant wages these manrega workers are working even then when they are not getting proper wages how can we say that this is a democratic government how can we say that that this is a gender sense to government what as edwa we feel that denial of right to work and livelihood and denial of the payment of wages that itself is a threat to right uh, right to life 
and dig with dignity. Agriculture share in GDP is come going down, but still majority, more than 50 percent of our population, rural population uh, are depending on the agriculture. Even if we go through the uh, statistics, with our own personal experience and knowledge also, 70 to 80 percent of the agricultural operations are being done by women. More than 90 percent of this food production and food processing etc. is being done by women. But at the same time, the same women, they were denied to have a proper food, proper health care, etc. Majority of the women are still suffering with anemia, particularly in the drought prone areas. The ICDS itself is the major relief for the poor uh, women and children. That is also denied. Everywhere this government is encouraging mechanization in agriculture. If you look at Punjab and Haryana, so, because of this mechanization, not only men, women are also not getting proper work. Since BJP came to power, yes, but wherever they have also tried to, you know, communalize the situation, even where they are not in power, etc. Yes, while they are in power also, they have been doing for many, many years, uh, but uh, for example, uh, the misconception of what they call love jihad. I mean, <laughs> they're making a mockery of uh, 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 two adults' uh, right to choose their uh, partners um, in the name of religion, and they're arousing communal passions uh, to stop that. Uh, that is unconstitutional. That is an attack on the. Uh, uh, rights of uh, citizenship rights and harassing Hadia in such a way mm -hmm. um, even though she has got partial uh, a kind of reprieve and she is now in her college um, it does leave a bad taste and it does leave uh, a very intimidating message to other uh, uh, people who are on about to marry this way or who intend to marry this way or intend to choose their partners from another religion. So the other aspect is communalizing the question of uh, triple talaq. The question of triple talaq does not have, it's not unidimensional, it has many dimensions, uh, particularly for indigent women. Mm. It has many dimensions, her, the question of her own uh, rehabilitation, the question of her children, their maintenance, their upkeep, etc. Uh, and the pressures in the society. Now, uh, for example, there is this case of Ishrat Jaha in West Bengal. Who has helped her after she contested? She was brave enough to have contested the triple talaq pronounced on her by her husband, but who has helped her? Not the TMC government and not the central government. If anybody has helped her, it is our organization in West Bengal. So I think uh, just arousing passions in the form of slogans is not what is required. Another aspect is um, the violence unleashed on women uh, during communal violence. We have seen it in Gujarat, in Muzaffarnagar, everywhere we have gone and met the women, the affected women and we find how the, the, the whole situation is used uh, uh, to violate women. With the advent of the RSS BJP government at the center and the kind of uh, kind of gagging of the media of free expression, uh, I think uh, voices need to be raised all over and say we are part of the struggle against this kind of uh, ethos as it were uh, and this is one of the messages we would like to give from this convention. अभी जो राशन कार्डों में जिस तरीके से दांडली चल रही है, एक तो राशन कार्ड सरकार ने अपने वो योजना में आके ये सीमित कर दिया 
कि हम इतने लाख राशन कार्ड बनाएंगे और अभी क्या हो रहा है कि वो जो राशन कार्ड नए बन के भी आए हैं उनमें मुखिया का नाम है परिवार के सदस्यों का नाम नहीं है चाहे उस परिवार में पाँच लोग हैं चाहे वो दस लोग हैं कहने में तो ये कह रहे हैं कि प्रति व्यक्ति पाँच किलो अनाज दिया जाएगा जब उस राशन कार्ड में पूरे परिवार का नाम नहीं होगा तो राशन कार्ड नहीं राशन नहीं मिलेगा उनको बहुत सारे ऐसे जगह हैं कॉलोनी हैं कि जो राशन वितरण प्रणाली पर ही डिपेंड है परिवार और उनके उन परिवारों को पूरा राशन नहीं मिल रहा है दिल्ली सरकार ने तो जो गरीबी रेखा के नीचे जो रेखा तय की है उसमें भी बहुत कम राशन कार्ड तय कर दिए और जो गरीबी रेखा के नीचे उनको 25 किलो गेहूं और 10 किलो चावल मिलना चाहिए चीनी मिलनी चाहिए वो भी नहीं मिल रही है और एकदम पूरा सारा लगा दिया कि पाँच किलो ही प्रति व्यक्ति मिले तो ये हमारा संघर्ष है और इस ये भी एक जो रोजी रोटी पर हमला हो रहा है चाहे वो केंद्र सरकार का हो चाहे वो राज्य सरकारों का हो इसीलिए हम लोगों का ये तय किया है कि 8 तारीख को हम बड़ी कन्वेंशन करके और जो अलग अलग मुद्दों पर हम हमारे ऊपर जो हमले हो रहे हैं उन हमलों के खिलाफ हम लोग एक आवाज़ उठाने का काम